Hey YouTube, Steve here. Um, this is 2014, the middle of June, I think it's the 19th of June 2014. I have a review here of a car DVR. That's why I'm in my car. So let me tell you a little bit about the DVR and why I chose it. Here we go. This is the DVR I got. It's out of the box. The box is inside. This is um, a DVR that's priced very, very well for all the features it has. This is the uh, G, as in Gary, number one, W hyphen C. And let me show you what that says right here. That's the model number right there. G1W-C. Uh, G1 was the first, G1W was the second model they released, and G1WC is basically the same as a W, but with a capacitor inside instead of the battery. What does that mean? That means that this has no battery. Um, instead of having a battery that you, that recharges when the car's running, and then it will um, give, uh, usually when you turn the car off, it will record still for an extra 30 seconds to a minute before the battery uh, allows the system to pa allows the camera to power down nicely to save the video files nicely so there's no corruption. Um, <clears throat> the capacitor does the same thing, except a, capa a capacitor never wears out. A battery can get between 200 cycles of charging, 500 times of charging, or up to 2,000 times of charging, depending on what type of battery it is. Um, but eventually it's going to wear out. Um, also, temperature can really affect a battery, um, especially the hotter the hotter climates. Capacitor, instead of a battery, does the same thing, but it has, um, it doesn't use the technology that batteries have. It uses a uh, um, a capacitor, which means um, when you turn a unit on, it gets a charge, and then kind of like when you rub your feet against a carpet, you build up a charge, and then when you touch uh, when you touch someone else's face, it zaps their face all at once. Well, capacitors do that too in camera flashes, or they can have a resistor to slowly let the energy come out nicely in a nice in a nice five volt pattern, and you know, so that's what this capacitor does. Capacitors are found in higher-end uh, car DVRs, the ones that cost a couple hundred dollars. Somehow they brought the price point down on this one to include the capacitor. And I got this for under $100. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to include the link to Amazon to, right below this video to where you can buy it also. I got the best bang for the buck, and um, so I'm saving you time. <laughs> Um, and finding that. So I'll put, I'll put a link below. Um, and make sure you click like and subscribe my, to my, uh, like my video. And if you, you know, if you liked it, that is, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, um, you know, reviews of stuff. So, uh, let me show you what I got here. This is the camera. It has an LCD screen in the back. It's basically the length of my thumb by the height of my first knuckle. Uh, you probably will never ever use the LCD screen. Um, you'll probably just use it to configure it for the first time. After that, it automatically turns on and turns off when you turn your car off and on. Um, I elected to get this, um, rear view mirror, um, adapter, so I don't have to use the suction cup that came with it. This was, this was, um, I think 10 bucks, but they gave me free shipping, I think. Um, let me look. Yeah, I got free shipping on this because they just stuck it in the box of this before they shipped it from the company. Now, I decided to go with one specific company on Amazon. The company, they are, they buy the items directly from China, and then they resell them from their U.S. office. And they say right on it, if you have any problems, we handle your warranties. You go through a USA company for warranties. And you do not have to go all through China for re for returns. Now, I could have got this from China for $10 less, but I said, hey, if I ever have a problem, I can get I can get it repaired, fixed. People will speak English to me, and uh, there's no, I don't, have to, I don't have to wait weeks for the return across a big ocean. 
So I elected for that awesome feature. Um, it has a HD, uh, a nice HD lens. These are not LEDs. These are I don't think they're LEDs. Um, I believe they're just motion sensors and depth depth sensors. Um, has no writing on it anywhere. That says S. That's where you put your SD card in. Um, I don't know what type of card it takes or what class, but I heard that the the lower class ones work better. Um, I'll I will write that in the notes below the video once I figure that out. But if you don't see the, my notes yet, that means I haven't found the right card. Um, this right here is the USB port that's for power. Because the other end of the cigarette lighter adapter has the USB port for power. Also, you can run a, a regular USB cord from here to your computer and get the data off the card. Or, or you can pop the card out and put that in a card reader. You have to say two ways. Or you can watch it on there. Um, this is for um, audio video out. If you have, um, you know, if you want to run it to TV. It did not come with a cord for that, but no one uses that anyway because it has the um, nice HD out right there to your television. And there's a reset button there too in case the unit goes crazy. Um, this slot on top is where the adapt where this guy slides in to the top, and then it rolls in all different directions so you can aim it in the right direction. Also, the suction cup slides in there too. Most uh, DVRs in China have that same adapter area. This is probably made in the same factory as most of them are. Um, also on top you have, what's that say? It says, pa this, this first one's power right there. Um, and the next one has a letter M on it for menu, it looks like. And on the back we have, let's see, record. And this one is mode. And then this is up and down key. Looks like the, looks like the microphone is either there or there. Or it's there. I don't know where the microphone's at. There's a clear a clear cover here. I'll take off after installation. And there's a clear cover here. I'll take off after installation. This does not spin, so don't try turning that. That's just for show. There's no writing on it, so it blends in more with your car. And people won't know what it is when we're walking by. Um, this goes on the arm of the, um, of the mirror. I don't have an arm. I'm sure I should have thought of that before. <laughs> oh, geez, Steve. So somehow I'm going to... <laughs> this doesn't work on my car. I don't have an arm behind it. Nice. Do I? Do I not? I don't think this is going to work on my car. <laughs> oh, there's a waste of money. Maybe I'll sell it or give it to someone that can use it. Um, so I'm going to have... I'm going to use the suction cup instead. Um, now, I do have a plate up here from my previous DVR that fried. Well, actually, it's now in constant reboot cycle. It just will, <laughs> it won't stop rebooting. Um, that's my antenna to my um, car alarm. So basically, um, I can't I can't mount this yet. I have to go inside and get the suction cup instead. But let me show you how this works. So this plugs into your cigarette lighter, and this long cord. I think it's about twenty feet or fifteen feet. That's long enough to run from your cigarette lighter adapter, so cigarette lighter socket, up underneath all the plastic, behind the carpet, and then behind the A-arm, and then up behind here, and then right to the unit. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my local um, automotive store and buy for like five or six bucks um, a, replace a replacement um, uh, socket for cigarette letter socket and they're made to screw into the side here so you just pop stuff in or on this side or you can screw them in, in, in anywhere they're pretty good durable plastic and it has a red and a black wire which I'm going to wire to I'm going to wire behind this one here or behind this one here um, and throw another fuse in there I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet but that way um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to hide the socket behind this console so I can plug this in behind the console so you don't see any wires. I want it all to blend in nicely. Then I turn my car on and boom it starts it turns on and starts recording. Um, and then I'm gonna purchase a second one and I'm going to um, wire in 
Um, another one of those um, cigarette lighter socket adapters, but I'm going to wire it into my trunk, and I'm going to plug this into my trunk, and then run one up the uh, rear view on my mirror. You can see it on a camera up there from my previous DVR, but I'm going to I'm going to keep that there, and, and I don't know, you never know what I'm going to use in the future. I might use it in the future for something else, but right next to it, I'm going to put another one of these cameras, and whenever I turn my headlights on, whenever I turn my headlights on, that rear view camera will light up also and start recording immediately. And in my car, which is a Hyundai Elantra, I always have my lights on. I always leave them on. I can turn them off during the day, but I leave them on at all times. That way I don't ever have to remember. And then when I close my door, they turn off. Um... Now, because I always have my lights on, that means my tail lights are always on also. So the back camera will always turn on immediately as soon as I turn the key. So when my key's out, my lights are off. I put my key in and, and turn the engine over, my lights, my headlights turn on, my tail lights turn on, and then both cameras will start rolling. So that's my idea for that. Um so I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to get the suction cup from inside, and I'll mount it on my, on my, on my um, window here. Now I already this this one came with a. This is for you techies out there. This is a. It takes between 12 volt and 24 volt uh, input, and the output is. I'm sorry, it was not focusing. The output is. DC 5 volt plus or minus 5% and a maximum of looks like it has a maximum output of 1.5 uh, amps and made in China um, and usually these unscrew on the top and there's a fuse in here a little glass fuse let me see if this one has it yep there's the fuse so it protects the unit what fuse is this this is a um Usually they're labeled. I'm spinning it and looking for numbers. There it is. It's um, I can barely read that. Let's say it says F two A. Two hundred and fifty volt. So I'll put that back together in a second. But if if your unit ever stops working, check the fuse to make sure it's not blown. There's a wire in there, and that wire will um sever it will sever in half. If um if it breaks and you could buy a new fuse for like a dollar or less, uh, I have one already hooked up from my previous DVR right here. I'm gonna plug that in and I already have it still wired up and it's hanging uh, right. It's uh, the other one right here. So I got my power ready to go. Has a USB right there, but before I use it, I'm gonna make sure that it has the same output as this one here. Let's double check that right now. Let's see, does this have any numbers on it for output? Yes, there's something written on the bottom there. This says uh, DC 12 to 24 volt in and output is 5 volts, 1.5 amp. So that's the same, this is a, my old one, is the same exact one as this one. So I'm not going to bother running this cord. I'm going to save this for a project here. I'm going to reuse the old one from my previous DVR. And I'm going to plug that in here. To the cigarette lighter socket. And um, I'm going to put, it on, put this up on a suction cup and then power it on. Okay, so I went inside, I got the, the other things it's, this came with. It came with a USB cord to run from your computer to the DVR as a mini a mini USB. Not, not you know, the modern micro USB. It has a mini USB, which goes into a DVR. This side goes in your camera and allows you to get the pictures, on, the pictures and video on and off. Um, came with a suction cup. Pretty nice one too, which I'll have to use for this model. And it came in the manual. Written in um let's see that is Chinese. 
and it's written in, it has pictures and stuff in it too, it's written in Chinese, it's written in English, it's written in Russian, um, what else, looks like those are the three target languages and countries they're selling it to. So, without further ado, let me put the suction cup up on a window. So, the suction cup has a clear piece of plastic over it, which you have, to, you have to remove. It protects it from any sand or dirt getting on it after production. Um, these are, I believe, the ones that click. Yeah. So you want to put it on your window and press this up and it pulls the suction cup um, and creates a good seal on your window. So let's try it out. Um, I did not clean my window yet, but I'll do that after I'm done with the video. But So you pop it on the window. It comes off immediately. But if you press this button, it will lock the suction in. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it has a positive, like, pr has a positive or negative pressure inside or whatever. Uh, I believe, uh, negative pressure? Whatever. Anyway, so that's that's not going anywhere. That's really nice. I'm I probably, I'm, I'm actually very happy with that. Um, now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put it right here in front of my face. Uh, when I'm done the video, I'm going to move it up here out of the way. Um... So it's not in my uh, field of vision. Plus, it's right next to the wire, which is going to run over to here. Not that one, this one. So I'm going to put it right here. But for now, I'll put it here. Let's see. It looks like it has a button or two. All right, so this slides up. This slides on here and over, like that, and then you turn it around, and then that can adjust the angle, up or down, and etc. And then when you like the angle, you tighten this up and it sticks to the angle, and then when you drive, it won't bounce around all over the place. All right, so next thing I want to do is I'm going to put power in. I'm actually, this cable won't reach far enough, so I'm actually going to use the one that came with it. I'm happy that the power plugs into the top and not the side, because now it's closer to the, um, the roof liner, so it hides the cable better. And then I will plug this guy. Hold on. I will plug this guy. Where is he? Here he is. Into here. And the green light is not lit up because I didn't turn my car on yet. I want to turn my car on. When I turn my car on, the green light does not go on. Oh, do you know why? Because I didn't put the fuse back in. I have to reassemble the fuse first. That would help you, right? Alright, so now I'm going to turn my car off. I'm going to plug in this. There's no green light. But when I turn my ignition on, it goes on. And what happens up here? It turns on automatically. Please insert SD card is what it's saying to me, which I'll do in a few seconds. But let's look what it says here. I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to zoom in as best as possible. There, that's what you got. This means it's re record mode. This is wide. Looks like wide display. Um, every looks like every th every three minutes, it will create a new file maybe. That says the, the, the brightness level, plus or minus white balance. This is how long it's been recording for. That's 1080. Uh, f field, I don't know, high def. Microphone turned on. Um, I don't know what that means. INT. 
that's a date which I'll set in a minute. It's charge. It's it has power, and it's been running for that long. Um, it might be right now recording. I don't know if it has any internal memory, and I don't know if it has an internal memory chip or not. But let me hit record up here. See what happens. Please insert card. So it looks like I have to insert a card to do anything. Now I have my old um, DVR, I think, in my car. Or not. So I'm going to go get a, a card, and I'm going to test out all the cards. And then um, I'm not going to show you who did me doing this, because that would take forever. Because there's going, I have to put a card in, drive around for a day, and check it out at that later on in the day, like at night after work, and then the next day I will try a different uh, type of company car, different class card, and I'm going I'm to find the best car that works for it, and I'll write that below the video in the description. Um, so I'm going to end this video right now. Uh, I'm going to turn my car off and see what happens. Okay. It saved the video. If the if it was recording, it would save the video. And it would not corrupt the file. Turn my car on again. Boots up. Starts recording super fast. I love that. That's great. Um, I don't know if it was recording or not, but um, this thing boots up and shuts down super fast. Um, I'm going to mount it to where I'm going to keep it. And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside and outside. Okay, so when I get my car, it's up there out of the way, and I turn my car on, starts up, does that thing, and after a few minutes, this screen will, um, will, this screen will turn black in a couple of minutes, or you can, in the options, you can have it on at all times, but I'm going to turn it off, because I don't, I don't really want to see it, I don't even want to, I don't want to notice it when I'm in my car day to day. Um, I'm going to be moving it a little bit over, be, to the left behind here so it doesn't drive my passenger crazy i'm gonna put it out of the way i might put it actually maybe um in replace of my easy pass move my easy pass over a little bit and put this more behind here so i don't see it during the day i might see just the just the bottom rim a little bit down here um but it's the screen's gonna be off so i won't even notice it so let me show you what it looks like on the outside So I'm gonna move it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it in the place of the Easy Pass. I'm gonna move it over a little bit. And so when, when you're walking by my car, you really won't notice the camera. It's just gonna look like it's, you know, a part. It's gonna look like a part of the rearview mirror. And I might actually um, scrape away the silver bezel because that's just for show. That silver bezel there. Um. On top, there's a little bit of light coming out, and that light is actually the um, the the back of the LCD screen. So when that screen turns off, so will that light on the top. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that silver bezel. It's just pla it's just plastic coated. So that's what it looks like, and then um, on the back. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a nurse, by the way. <laughs> That's why I'm crazy, right? No, just kidding. Um, on the back, I have my little camera from my old one. But I'm going to buy another one of these cameras, and I'm going to ins put it right next to there. So there will be another little camera next to it. And um, yeah, that will automatically turn on as well. So, um, if you like the effort I put into this video, go ahead and click like. That way I know that my effort has gone to someone, at least one person out there. Um, if you um, want to see more videos like this that are very in-depth, click subscribe. And if you um, would like to purchase the same one from where I got it from, trust me, trust me, I did my research. This is the best camera out there for the price. And, and also, I found the best place to buy it. 
click the link in the description below. It'll take you right to Amazon to the same seller I bought that mine from. And um, they're in, they set their they they sell their stuff from America, so you'll get your product within under seven days. And they also do all of your warranty and stuff like that. And if you have any problems, they take care of it. You don't have to contact China and wait weeks and weeks and weeks and have. <laughs> they speak English and um, <laughs> they have a great turnaround. All right, I haven't used their turnaround yet, but I'm sure it'll be it's going to be a great experience. Um, that's why I spent the extra ten bucks and bought it from an American company. Um. Yeah, so click like to subscribe. Um, sh oh, share this video if you want. Share it all over your Facebook, Twitter, um, or, you know, anywhere you want. Um, because I think everyone should have one of these out there. Um, this unit can also um, record um, when your car is parked in a parking lot as well. If someone walks by it, it'll start recording. Anyway, um, I think everyone should have one of these in their car, at least one running at all times so no one so if someone runs up to your car and points a gun at you and runs away you now you have a picture of their face um, if, if someone um, slams on their brakes for no reason whatsoever and tries to make it look like there's a deer just so they could sue you for rear-ending them you can clearly show the judge there's no deer and a person did it purposely um, and if someone has if someone's using an abuse of power if someone decides to um, abuse their power as for as a as a as any type of maybe a police officer or something like that, now look, now you have video evidence of the situation, and you can just say, "Hey, I'm going to turn this camera and face it right at. I'm going to turn this camera and not break it. <laughs> I'm going to turn this camera. I'm going to face it right at my window. I'm going to record the whole entire situation that's happening right now." And a video evidence of everything. Um, yeah, so this will help you um, win court cases. This will help you um, not get not get um, sued, or someone can try to sue you when you got video evidence of them acting um, out of hand, and then you win. So that's why everyone should have one of these in their car. It should be it should be like it should come with cars. Put it that way. Anyway. Uh, that's my um, speech <laughs> and ramble there. Um, yeah. So go ahead, click like, subscribe, share, and click that link below and buy one before, you know, you get a ticket and then and you're in the right and then you lose your insurance rates. go Your insurance rates go up and then you got to pay the ticket and it's, you'll save a lot more money if you just buy one of these and show the judge the actual video evidence. All right. So... I'm gonna end this video now. I hope it was, I hope I was in de uh, thorough enough and in depth enough, and I hope I help at least one person out there. Okie dokie. All right, have a great day. And again, we're in the middle middle of June, 2014. Steve out. Bye bye.